Hello everyone, once again, it's Connor here and let's do one more candle review today. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean. And now we're going to be finishing off the day with a new Kringle from their newest reserve launch. This is the Blue Orchid. Kringle was kind enough to send this one to me in PR, so thank you very much, Kringle. It's really helpful when they send PR because sometimes um, it's items that I would have never picked up, and it just helps me to be able to get more reviews out for you guys so that you guys can know what you're going to want to purchase and um, just know about the products before you purchase. So yeah, we're going to be talking all about Blue Orchid today. Um, in the launch, Kringle had, I think, five new reserve scents, and I think most of them are gone now. I know the vanilla rose cone is definitely gone. The um, turquoise one, I think. Okay, so the turquoise one is still in stock. This one is still in stock. The crimson and clover is sold out, and the herbs and spices is still available. Yes, so Crimson and Clover is sold out, Vanilla Rose Cone sold out in like minutes, but um, this one is still available if you're interested in purchasing. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so I will leave my code down below in the description box. It's just Connor15, and that's going to get you 15% off of your order, and it will um, give me a little bit back and I just put it towards my future purchases. So it is an affiliate link, use only if you're comfortable. But let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I really do love the label on this one. It is so pretty. I just love the color of blue, and I just always think that Kringle does really well with the labels. Obviously, these are the reserve candles, so they are the black um, glass. And I like these. I think that they're pretty. There you go. You can see the flame right there. I'll go ahead and give you guys a little um, overhead view right now. But um, these are a little bit hard to see sometimes um, if they're lit or not. As you can see, I'm actually nearing towards the bottom. But yes, we're working our way through this one. All right, let's go ahead and get started with these scent notes. So the description on this one reads... Fragrant wild orchid is blanketed in sophisticated richness of white amber resin, powdery musk, precious woods, and nectarous dark fruits. Your top notes are floral citrus, your mid notes are floral powder and amber, and your base notes are floral, uh, sorry, wood floral and musk. Okay, so I get all of these notes except for the citrus. I don't really pick up a citrus in here. Um, don't know why. I mean, sometimes I think that Kringle puts notes in um, their candles to like balance another fragrance out. So like, you know, the citrus might be helping out the floral a little bit. Um, but like just based off of cold sniff and while it's burning, I don't pick up a citrus note from here. What this smells like to me, it reminds me a lot of like um, the men's bar soap, like the Irish Spring or just like any like classic bar soap smell. That is what this smells like to me. Um, it's very musky. I would say the base is definitely like a woody, musky uh, scent. I do think that there is like a floralness to it, um, but I really feel like that musk really takes over. Um, it's also very powdery, kind of giving it that um, musky cologne perfume vibe. I'm still trying to decide if I think this is a little bit more on the feminine or masculine side because it just really does have that musk base, which you could see in perfumes and colognes. But um, to me, I think it does lean a little bit more mac masculine. I also feel that I kind of get like an aquatic note in here, just like an ocean note. And I think that that really plays into the musk note. But yeah, this is a really pretty woodsy and floral blend. I would say if you don't like the really heavy musky scents or powdery, cologne perfumey type of scents, then I would probably stay away from this one just because... That is what it is. I know that this is not a favorite every, of everyone's. I think it's a really beautiful bedroom scent. And I just think it's a really beautiful scent in general. And I enjoy it. So 
I like it, but I totally get it if you would not like this one because it is very strong and very heavy on that musky note, which I know can be a note that not everyone loves. All right, now to performance. Like I said, I already gave you guys my overhead view, but I'm really happy with this performance as always from Kringle. Beautiful, beautiful burn all the way down to where I'm at. I'm about, let me see if I can see. There's like some points in the jar where you can see the flame. Yeah, like right here. So I'm like about right here. So I'm a little bit less than halfway and it's doing really well for me. Um, no dirtiness, no sootiness or anything like that. Um, I've been burning this just the same amount of time as I'm burning my clear, my clear glass 100% soy kringle candles. It's doing really well. The only downside to this is like just having to remember to blow these out because it is really hard to tell if these are lit. Even if you have all the lights off and it's like really dark outside and it's nighttime, you can really miss that flame and it can be really hard to see. So just be careful with that. But other than that, yeah, the performance is doing really well for me. As far as the strength and throw goes, this one is a powerhouse, honestly. Um, I began by burning this in my bedroom because I do feel like this is a really good bedroom scent. And in my bedroom, it did really well, probably like a good eight to an eight and a half. When I bring it downstairs, it's a nice like seven to a seven and a half. It's a very strong scent on cold. So I was guessing that it would be a stronger scent um, on throw and burn as well and it's doing really well i'm burning it here in the dining room just to review it but as i've been burning it i've had it in the entryway and it's just a really nice scent and it mixes very well with the other one the crimson and clover they're not the same scent the crimson and clover is much more of like that woodsy scent but they do combine really well together. So I've had this one going in the entryway and um, that one in the living room and they're just a really nice blend um, in different rooms. So I would suggest doing that if you have both of them. But yeah, I really like the scent. I'm very impressed with the burn and performance and strength and throw. So really happy with this candle. Let me know if you guys pick this one up and let me know your thoughts on it if you have. I will be reviewing the Crimson and Clover and the Herbs and Spices a little bit later on this week, so definitely stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Check out the review from earlier if you missed it, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.